Good morning. So today I'm in Staffordshire and I've just collected this used vehicle. And as you can see, it's a plug-in electric. So this is a Cushman Haulier Pro. So I'll do a little video of this when I'm back and got it unloaded. So what this is, is sort of a utility vehicle based on a golf cart and Cushman, they make all sorts of golf carts and commercial utility vehicles. This one, I think is 2018, which makes it uh, five years old. It is electric. Uh, it is only done 243 hours. And as you can see, all the batteries under there. So I don't really know too much about these, but I've got the original brochure from the back in the day and I'll just go through some of the basic specs. So the new version of this vehicle has a lithium ion battery, but these original lead acid ones, they still do a 50 mile range, which is very impressive because a vehicle like this range isn't really important. It's about hours and uh, I would have thought 50 miles will keep most users going for many, many weeks or a month at least. So. Uh, some of the basic specs, let's just have a look. Um, we've got 72 volt power source, AC induction motor. It's a 16.7 kilowatt motor, which is 22.4 horsepower, 72 volt, nine 8 volt deep cell batteries, which we'll look at underneath. Uh, the battery charger is 900 watt, 72 volt DC. So what other specs have we got? Um, we've got a speed controller, 350 amp AC, rear axle ratio is 17 to 1. The weight of the vehicle, curb weight, 686 kilograms. It's got a load bed capacity of 227 kilograms. The vehicle load weight is 408 kilograms. And the speed, it's got top speed of 16.5 miles per hour i must admit this does feel rather fast it picks up obviously being electric it picks up very quick and uh, you can shoot off a bit too quick i think particularly on rough ground anyway uh, towing capacity 544 kilograms and a turning circle of 7.16 meters so that's the specs of these so let's just have a quick look around so up on the dash, you've got a fuel gauge there, which is basically just your battery charge, which is nearly on full. You've got reverse, neutral and forward, and then an off position, uh, horn, lights, 12 volt outlet, and that's it. Interesting, it's got indicators on the front, but there's no indicator switch. And then you've got your accelerator, and this is your brake, and the part brake, you push that top bit of the pedal to lock the brake down. And this switch here tilts the bed there. So if we go around here, we can see all of the batteries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And these are Trojan deep cycle batteries, eight volt, 170 amp hour, 145 amp hour. Um, so yeah, nine of those, totaling 72 volt. There's the electric motor down there, driving the back wheels. I noticed that's a Maley motor as well. Obviously Maley make a lot of automotive components and also make motors for EVs as well. And um, let's just lower that bed down. Plastic bed on this one. I do notice you can get them in aluminium as well, but we've got a tailgate on here. You can drop down. So yeah, quite a practical little machine. And up there we've got total weight in the bed, 227 kilos and 45 kilos on the tailgate. Under here, you've got this switch and 
apparently this will disengage the drivetrain so when it's up you can then push the vehicle it's disengaging the motor and you can obviously tow the vehicle and then when it's down you hear that click there and I had the motor then all the contactors then on the uh, engaging the power to the motor that's then in drive mode your charge port is here 16 amp commando plug and then it came with a commando socket on a 13 amp plug so I'm not dealing in these sort of vehicles now uh, someone in my family has bought this and they couldn't uh, move it obviously um, well actually they tried to and they couldn't get it on their trailer this was a bit longer than they were expecting so uh, I went and picked it up for them because obviously I've got a truck that can um, carry vehicles um, and then I thought well I've got it I'll come and make a little video because this is electric and uh, some people might find it interesting so I've come to the corner of this field to get away from the road and uh, it's somewhere where I can try it and just try it along the footpath but I'm sort of expecting the farmer to turn up and go oh you get off my land because um, his house is on the other side of the field behind me and he'll be able to see me if he happens to be looking out of his windows and uh, probably be wondering what a vehicle is doing but we are on a footpath here so it should be all right but anyway he may well be shooting up on his quad bike soon so um i think that's about all i can show you um the other thing is obviously these are nice when they're electric they do a petrol version but these are just so much quieter and obviously zero emission and uh, if you're driving around a farm or gardens or private land and things it's just much nicer to be bombing around in silence rather than having an engine and obviously with uh, lawn mowers and ATVs and agricultural stuff like this those engines they have in those are very polluting and you don't want to be breathing that stuff in and of course you're always right next to the exhaust so it's not only for the um, it's not only the noise which is the issue it's obviously they're poisonous to us as well so uh, it makes so much sense for these to be electric thumbs up as always see ya